so obviously tough times right now with with coronavirus. Everyone's super concerned. Um, and I bet one question a lot of you guys have is, well, what what masks do I get? Do they work? Or you know, what am I supposed to be buying? So I can't tell you which mask you should get, but at least I can give you some information so that you can make as informed of a decision as you can. The ones that um, you see most often are surgical masks or otherwise known as ear loop masks. Um, so let, let me show you how to put one on. This is what they look like. You wanna make sure when you're putting them on, the color side is out. You wrap them around their ears. You wanna make sure that there's a metal bar right here and you wanna try to pinch it around your nose as well as you can. If you have facial hair, if you have a beard, this will not work. So you gotta make sure you shave and you're using it properly, but you wanna get a nice tight seal on these. And then you're gonna see different levels of mask. You're gonna see sometimes level one, level two, level three. You're like, what does that mean? What does that mean? This is an ASTM level. They basically kind of differentiate between the different types of protection that they offer. Now the pore sizes on these are relatively the same. This has more to do with splatter, like if you're working with blood or, or patients and you're, you're having different splatters, level one is just kind of for basic, level two offers more protection, and then level three is for heavy splatter, it offers the most protection. But that's if liquid is directly getting in contact with your mask. And in terms of uh, filtration efficiency, uh, level one is right around 95%, whereas level two and level three are gonna be at 98%. What you care about with the virus is pore sizes. So they're all relatively the same, but viruses are, are really, really tiny. They're, they're between like 50 and 500 nanometers for the larger ones, but they're really small, much smaller than the pore sizes here. You're just hoping that the viruses adhere onto larger particles and get trapped on your mask. So that's why it's not like 100% protection, but they do offer some protection. And that's also why you don't wanna keep your mask and reuse it for too long, because eventually if you're touching it and pushing it and there's virus on there, then that's gonna eventually get to you. So these are disposable. If you keep wearing them over and over again, you're not being protected. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. And here, you know, you don't know where these masks are coming from. And, you know, if you see a level one or a level two or a level three, you know, it, it is what it is. But a simple test you can do is the water test. You want to make sure your mask doesn't allow any water through. So let's get some water here. And you can see if I'm pouring some over that essentially none is getting through. That's a decent mask. Okay, so now we've covered surgical masks. And now there's another level of mask that a lot of people ask about, and those are the N95 respirator masks. It's generally a common thought that N95 masks perform better, but do they really? So let's take a look at it. This is what an N95 mask looks like. Let me show you guys how to put this on. You have two straps, and you take both straps and you put them around your head. And you wanna make sure that this nose portion is nice and snug. So the one nice thing about the respirator masks is you get a much better seal around your mouth area. But in terms of particle filtration efficiency, this one's rated at 95%. They're roughly about the same between N95 mask and a surgical mask. They have kind of differences, pros and cons. Those are a little bit more easy to use, but they, they all work. Wearing a mask works. Now, with the N95, you'll see a lot of different types of specifications for these. N95, that's like an American standard for NIOSH. There, you will also see something like KN95, and you're like, well, there's a difference between N95 and a KN95. Well, they're just different standards, but they roughly all kind of equate to filtering out 95% of particles around 0.3 microns and above. There's other types of standards as well, like FFP2. That's kind of similar, same thing, filtering out 95%. Sometimes people ask, what's the difference between a surgical mask and an N95 respirator mask, and which one's better? Well, the regulating bodies are different. The surgical masks are cleared by the FDA, whereas the N95 respirator masks are tested and approved by NIOSH. They both have roughly the same filtering efficiency from a particle standpoint, but the N95 respirator mask, as you see here, is tight fitting. It actually provides proper respiratory protection, whereas the surgical mask does not provide the wear with a reliable level of protection from particles. 
does that mean the surgical masks don't work? Actually, they work quite well, you know, if you fit them over your face properly. The N95 is designed to contour the face very well. Whereas a surgical mask, you just have to be really careful about how you wear it. But the takeaway is masks work. So regardless if you're using the N95 or the surgical mask, it's a good idea to wear masks. All right, well, be safe and take care of yourselves and do what you can in this crisis. See you later.